Hi there, I'm Oluwa Kemi. I create educational videos for both students and teachers as well as some other helpful do-it-yourself videos. And if you are watching my video for the first time, please leave a comment below, share and like. And please do click on the red subscription button. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and be educated. Hi, I'm Ulua Kemi. I'm so excited to have you here again for another WIAC Math Question 2019, which goes to us. Sub 4x squared minus 6, 16x plus 15 equal 0. Okay, so what type of question is this or what type of equation is this? Good quadratic equation. Good. And looking at the options, it means that we need to find what what are these options telling us? The root of the quadratic equation. Good, 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 good. So, um, but in this instance, did you notice the coefficient of x squared? Yes. So in this case, it, this may not be like just a regular quadratic equation where you just find the factor of the top term, which is 15, then you start solving. No, this is the first thing that you need to do. Oh, you already know that. Good, 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 good. So the first thing that you're supposed to do is to multiply the coefficient x squared, which is 4, by the last term, which is 15, and that will give us what? 60. All right. So now, you are going to find the two factors, as usual, um, of 60, and these two factors, when plus together, should be able to give us the middle term minus 16. Okay. So what are the two factors? Which factors are coming into your mind? Oh, good. 10 and 6. Okay, but that won't give us minus 16. All right, good, good. Minus 10 and minus 6. Good. And as usual, you know, you already know, or if you don't know, these two factors, minus 10 and 16, is going to replace the middle term minus 16x. Okay, so we're going to bring that into the equation now. So we have 4x squared, okay, minus 10x. We're going to add the x now, then minus 6x x okay then plus 15 equal 0 okay so now we can factorize yes so we are now going to factorize okay let me just put the bracket there or just normally you're not supposed to put it the bracket is supposed to be when you are factorize this equation now so we're going to look for common factors within these two terms so what is the common factors quickly tell me that what do you see two okay what what else did you see x Good. So, what is now? What we now be left? We have okay. Did I say two x? Okay. What about the one here? We be left with minus five. Good. Then remaining two terms. What is common? What is common? Can you help me out? Did I hear you say minus three? Good. So, what we now be left? What are we going to have on the bracket? Two x. Okay. Then minus 5 equal 0. By the time you open the bracket with these factors outside, you're going to arrive at the original equation. Okay, good. So now we're going to write the uh, common factors. So the first one we're going to write is 2x and minus 3. Okay, while the second factor is 2x minus 5 equal 0. All right, so we're trying to find the root of the equation, okay? Good. So now we're going to have 2x minus 3 equal 0 or, okay, 2x minus 5 equal 0. I hope you understand that. 
is just saying the whole of this bracket is equal to zero or the whole of the second bracket is equal to zero because we're finding the root of the equation okay good so if you're already familiar with this you would understand but if not this is how it is done okay good so we continue we simplify for that so we're going to have two x minus sorry the minus three will move to the right hand side so we're going to have equal to 3. Now we can go ahead to the variable size of the equation by 2. So 2 we cancel 2 out on the left hand side. Then we're going to have 2 in 3 is going to give us 1 whole number 1 over 2. That's a mixed fraction. Okay, good. Then for the next 2x, okay, is going to be equal to by the time you add 5 to both sides of the equation. Then we go ahead also to the variable side of the equation by 2. So 2 we cancel 2 out on the left hand side. Okay, so we're going to have x equal 2 in 5. We're going to have 2 or number 1 over 2. Okay, good. So these are the roots of the equation. Let us check the answer option to see which one um, tallies with it. Answer option B is the right answer. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.